What's up everybody, it's Sean Ray here, and today I'm gonna to be talking about something that was brought up in the last video I posted. There was a person that asked, uh, what is the deal with bunk beds? Should they do it, and uh, when should they do it? And so there's only really one, maybe two scenarios in which having a bunk bed makes sense. I'm gonna talk about those first, and then secondly, why I don't really like them. But this goes into a broader topic, which is like when you put money into a property, for improvements or make it unique, like making a room a ball pit or like an arcade room or home theater room. Like how much money are you putting into something to get something out versus how much do people actually want to do it and how is it gonna convert it to money? Um, today we're gonna to specifically just focus on bunk beds. So let's jump into it. If you guys haven't already, like, subscribe, all that kind of fun stuff and comment below. This video only exists because someone commented on my last video. So thanks so much for doing that. If you're watching this video, you rock. Um, so answer your question. I have in my newest property, a huge master bedroom, a huge, um, and the closet is ridiculous. The closet is seriously the size of some, some homes, full rooms. And so I didn't want to just have an empty room sitting there. It seems like a waste. So I was thinking in an office or what should I do? But an option that could have made sense was put a bunk bed in there because if you're renting a, a big house and you have the master room, maybe you have kids, maybe you have two kids or something like that. And so I was thinking maybe put a bunk bed in that closet, but instead I went with a crib because a lot of people don't have cribs on Airbnb and two little like mini, mini twin beds for kids are like six to eight years old. And so that's what I do in mine. But another option would have been putting bunk beds in there for people that are traveling with kids. Cause there's not a lot of kid sleeping options for places other than like blow up mattresses and stuff like that. So that's one opportunity. Another opportunity is if you have a room that's so small that it doesn't make sense. Like I have one house, the Norma house, that the room is just, you can only fit a, uh, a bunk bed in there and that's it. Like doesn't have room for like a nightstand really. And so I could have fit one twin against the wall and that's it. Or I had the option to put a triple bunk bed. So I put a triple bunk bed in there. Now, was that the best idea? At the time I decided, yes, it hasn't really been that big of an issue, but I do have people complaining that are adults that don't want to be staying on a tiny bunk bed and climb three, two flights of stairs basically to get to their, to where they're trying to sleep. So I get that. I understand that. And a lot of people are not going to pay a premium price for a, a Airbnb if there's bunk beds there. You can still get away with the $500, $400 a night um, uh, on the weekends, maybe even $600. But if you're trying to get into that six, seven, eight hundred, even a thousand dollars a night, people want their own actual beds if they are uh, adults. If you look at it like on this island that I'm on right now in Mexico, you have a place that I'm staying at, you have $18 a night for a bunk bed. So if you want to come here and chill on the beach, like you see here, $18 a night, you can come every single night and you're paying 18 bucks. That's a hell of a deal. But right next door to it, you have a queen size bed and they're charging like 120 to $150 a night. And so how many bunk beds will it take for it to make sense just to have one bed? Now, do you want that many extra people in your house for the same price? I would prefer less people, same price, or even maybe even less uh, money, just very little less money uh, just to not have that much traffic. And on top of that, you can only put so many people in an Airbnb house. You can only have 16 guests. And so what's the real need to have all these people in separate beds? They can just share beds. So anyways, hopefully this made sense to you guys. Don't do bunk beds unless you have to. And if you live next to an amusement park or something that attracts children, um, that's another opportunity that you might want to consider it. But in the end, if you can avoid them, avoid bunk beds at all costs. Do not convert a bedroom into a theater room or an art room or a game room or something like that. If you have an option to put a bed somewhere, put that bed there. Try to get as many heads in beds. That's way more important. All right, guys, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, subscribe if you guys like this stuff. Comment below on the next video that you would like me to post. Uh, I am, like I said, on an island for a few days, so I don't have all my camera gear and stuff, so I'm just holding my phone. Hopefully you guys don't mind the low quality of production. Hopefully the content is good. All right, talk to you guys later. See ya.